Hi there, man. Welcome to Cocktail Corner, man. Welcome to a, well, it's supposed to be Friday. It's Thursday as we film this. It's freezing. I know, I've, um, I've just filmed it from the window. I'm not going outside to film. Just to show you, it's a lovely summery bank holiday type weekend. Yeah, fab, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe mm. it's better in London, otherwise the King's <laughs> going to have a pretty grim day, isn't he? Well, uh, he'll be alright, he'll be in a nice, like, almost centrally heated coach, I expect, but it's all the people standing outside I'm pretty sure that their gold flags. coach is not going to be centrally heated. So, uh, because it's a, a bank holiday weekend, and there will be quite a few bank holiday weekends, and hopefully summer times soon, one day, we're going to do the quintessential holiday drinky. Right. Yeah? We are going to do PIMS. Yeah? Right. Now, PIMS, uh, well, one reason is we're going to get a litre for a tenner in Tesco this week. This is a week. coronation edition. Coronation edition. The amount of products you see right now just have coronation on them as if it's something fancy. Like, yeah. buy this because the coronation edition. There's no difference. It's a bottle of PIMS. But okay? we got it for 10 quid instead of 22. Got it 10 for quid instead of 22, so it's worth doing. Um, and we've never done a PIMS on the channel. You're mm. not sure about PIMS? No, I've only ever tasted PIMS once and it was out of a tin, you know, like one of Those them pre-mixed things. Mm. And I and I wasn't keen to be fair, okay. but it was a long time ago. Long time ago, absolutely. And it, and it was a tin and it was probably a cheap tin. It wasn't so. a sunnier day than this though, that's for it sure, I'll say that. It was that, yeah. Now, very quickly, the story about my love for PIMS is from my mum and dad or my mum, when we used to go on holiday. Right. In Weymouth at the ship in, at Preston near Weymouth yeah you know right, the shipping right, we all know it we kind of grew up in the same time the same era um I don't have the glass that my mum used to have and my aunt has got one as well because they both stole them right. from the pub like you used to do honestly like we used to get named glasses with brands on uh it was one of the special things on their holiday was a crab salad and a pims or right. two and then you get them in the pub, they'd all be like basically fruit salad in a glass, and the glass is very fancy, it was green, they're very lovely, green handle, very kind of fine actually. Right. They disappeared in their handbags. Sorry, it was the 1970s, 80s, <laughs> and they can't be done for it. My mum passed away some years ago, so there you go. All right, there's a little story for you, but it's kind of been my family, Pims, yeah? Okay. So, Pims is dead easy, all right? There's nothing to a Pims, as long as you've got the bottle of Pims, mm -hmm. right? Pims, uh, this is Pims number one, although I won't say it on here, but there used to be various different versions of this. There's also a sundowner version now, we've got red currants in it. Yeah. Um, Ooh, but most people would use Pims number one, it's, it's basically Pims nowadays in the supermarkets. Uh, it's a gin based cocktail. It does say cocktail. one on it. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, it's a gin based cocktail. Now we're going for the, for the recipe on the back, which everyone knows and I kind of know, three parts lemonade, one part this, and a whole bunch of fruit. Right. Okay, pretty much. But that's just a normal PIMS. And you like to judge yours up. Yeah. Uh, I used to fly kites. We'll call it semi-professionally around the world. We had a big, big kite team, display teams go around the world. Some of my friends in the kite world we used to do things like uh, wine and cheese parties during the kite festival and crazy things and port and cheese and stuff. And we did PIMS as well. So we're going to pep it up to a pepped up PIMS Pepped up Pims. Pepped up Pims. Pims can be made, you can find recipes online actually, uh, of with uh, gin and triple sec and vermouth and a couple of things. So we're actually going to add some triple sec and vermouth to this to, to umph it make a bit. It stronger. Okay. Well, kind of different. make it stronger. Yeah. Um, but see, I does. should like it because it's gin. Well, exactly. Um, it's also, they say, kind of. If you drink it slightly, it's not as sweet as you think. It's a, almost a kind of Jägermeister well, kind not, of apple it's juice. Not it's not like, You, you can add, it won't, it won't taste exactly like you're going to think. It's not quite as nice drinking it straight. Mm. Yeah, it's an acquired taste straight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, to, to pet this up, because like we said, it's just a normal Pims otherwise, get yourself a bowl. A big bowl. Big bowl. The only way you can do this, really, uh, a bottle of Pims. Fair with. Takes a while. It's a litre bowl. Fair with. Oh, go on, get it in there, girl. Come on. It's a good job as a bank on the can by the look of it. Well, yeah. Now, bottle of Pims. Because you need triple sec, and we have to kind of even it out, a bottle of triple sec. 
Triple sec is like Cointreau, you can use Cointreau if you want, a bottle of Cointreau will work. I'd suggest Cointreau is quite a bit more expensive than triple sec though. Triple sec is slightly rougher, I find. Mm. Yeah. Um, and, well, we got a litre bottle because we had a litre bottle of Pims, just a bottle of red vermouth. You could have had more senior tunes, I know. You were a bit of a cheapskate, you managed to find this. Uh, six quid for a litre. Six quid for a litre, so I'm going to pour that in as well. Watch the splashes job. Right. I don't really like this. Well, <laughs> so, so far so good. Give it a stir. Big spoon. Yeah, big spoon. Right, that is a pet up Pims. So, we need to now do something with that because there's a hell of a lot of drink in one day, love. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we need to bring the portal back in the bottles, really. Then you end up with three bottles of Pims. Right. All right. Then we will make a Pims as it should be. Okay. So, we'll say come back to get a jug. Right. We, uh, when you make Pims, like for everybody, you'll make it in a big glass jug. So, we'll do that in a while. But we need to transfer some of this back into the bottle. Which bottle do you want? Oh, it's going to be a mess, this. Oh, this kind of opening is going to be a mess, to be honest. Oh, had the alarm bell gone off, look. This jug is a nightmare to pour from. Yeah, why did you pick that one? Because it was the first one to hand. I did say, go and get a funnel, but we never had one. The other possibility is to get a cone of paper and wrap it up. However, I think the paper would disintegrate with this stuff. Well done. Um, Burrowid will come back in a second. Right then, love. So, as you'll see from the picture, we predominantly have three bottles now of Pims. Pet. Sorry. Pet up Pims. Uh, not quite in all those in all those because we've got some in here. All right. So, you need a jug. It's got to be a jug for Pims because you're doing it for more than one or two people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plenty of ice. Get your pims. Could just be the bottle of normal pims if you don't want to pep it up. Now, we're doing it to our measurements, but quite frankly, it's one lot, one part pims, three parts lemonade. Right. So you'll need 1.2 liters in there, 400 mils in there. Yeah. Um, you can use lemonade. Traditionally, it's lemonade. We're using ROH because I quite like that as a decent lemonade. Uh, obviously, other brands are available. You can also use tonic water. Um, ginger ale is interesting. Just mm. gives it a slightly different, again, different kick, different pep to it. It's quite spicy ginger ale, yeah. Yeah, adds more to kind of a spice going on in this, really. We're so gentle. I'm trying not to make it too bubbled. That's what I'm trying to do. It's supposed to be a fairly short video, but it takes a long pouring out. Right, so that's one. So you just need 200 mils now. Mils now. Yeah. Even though I spill a bit. Close enough. Uh, give it a bit of a stir. Well done. Now, Pim's is predominantly a fruit salad in a drink. So we need some oranges because it's quite an orangey drink. You're going to try and put that in here as well? Yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> they now need a bigger jug, don't they? Yeah, we do need a bigger jug. Oranges, uh, cucumber. I get another knife? Yep. Don't try and put too much in my hand because it ain't going to fit. Ouch. We have to pour some out of this jug, don't we? Well, we could pour it into glasses. Could pour it into glasses. Yeah, we could do that. Oh, glasses. I'm not doing this very well, darling. I'm not very professional today. Is that enough cucumber? Yep, fine. Pull that bit in there and then just get some into here. And some strawberries? Yep, strawberries. Oranges, cucumber, strawberries are the traditional accompaniment to a Pim's. Kind of gives it a cooling kind of... 
We oh. certainly don't need cooling Garden today. Smell. No, I'm not going to stir with a knife. I'm going to squidge it about. Okay, happy with that? Not enough Lovely. Strawberries. Yeah, that's fine, Corey. Demonstrating purposes. Strawberries. And now, okay. Controversial. Now it's, it's, not, it's not controversial. It's controversial for Kelly because she's not really a mint person, but you're okay with fresh mint. Definitely. To a point. So, ideally, you would then get a couple of bunches of mint. Bunches? Well, a sizable bit of mint. Crush it up, put it in your jug along with the fruit, okay? Now, We'll put a bit in just for effect. What are you doing? Getting that scabby bit of orange out. Oh, it's fine. It'll, it'll just kill it, all the stuff off in there. It'll kill all the germ dead. Yeah, I can't get it, but it's, it's fine. It's not. It's just the top of an orange. Yeah, but it's... Mm. Right, Maybe a bit of moan it. Gosh, she don't have moan. She'll drink it. What's wrong with that? It's just right a bit of orange pill. Yeah, that'll do for a token gesture. So, um, whack it. Bash it huh? Yeah, bash it a bit. Muddler. Yeah, muddler will do. Don't just, like the smell. Right, just that's enough. Just get the oils in. Oh. Give that a stir as well. Right now, we could do it properly, but we don't have Can I move the, this the proper way herb. It's a right old mess. Yeah, everyone uses mint nowadays because, quite frankly, the other herb is a little bit more tricky to get hold of. But borage is the proper thing. Borage. Borage. Ooh. Blue flowers are perfect. They have a kind of a honey flavour to them. Oh, I might prefer it with yeah, borage. Yeah, and borage is a bit more. Cucumbery? Yeah. Yeah. So if you can get a borage plant, do it from the garden centre, mix it with borage. Borage is the absolute thing you should do. Cool. Alright? So that is a pins, my love. Okay? Right. So we're gonna take a photograph of this, we're gonna pour it into those with some fruit, and then you can drink it. Cool. Good. Right then, darling. Think summer. Think lovely summer day. Barbecue, all that kind of thing. You can have the bit with the mint. Wimbledon with telly, I'll oh, have the mint bit. I, I need a bit of orange for mine. Well, you're generous with the chunks of orange, aren't I you? I am, yeah. Think long summer evenings. If we ever get any. Pretty summer dresses, never fix me. Do you know, do. Like, yeah, looking at it, do you know what I mean? In theory, this should be my perfect drink. Absolutely. Because I do love a bit of fruit salad. You do love a bit of fruit salad. But yeah, uh, I think if you've got borage, it'll be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So we will we will try and get some and get some in the garden centre. Um, there we go. So I'll have the one with the mint in. You have to warm it down. Cheers, Cheers. darling. Cheers, everyone. Here's to bank holiday weekends. Here's to bank holiday weekends, wherever you may be. Yep, yeah, that's the pims. Yep, that's good. Good? Good. It's got a cucumber kind of thing yeah, going on. Yeah, I love the cucumber bit. Because of the, the extra vermouth and the extra triple sec, it kind of rounds it off a little bit. It's not quite as, oh, almost yeah. like, slightly bitter than the normal liqueur mm, is. It's nice. It's bloody cold though. <laughs> not that the drink's cold, it's cold because here. It's freezing here. Um, I will warn people, it's more alcoholic than you think. Well, yeah, you've got two bottles and a bit, well, yeah. nearly three um, bottles. I, another story, when I used to have an art studio in this guy many years ago, another wife, another life. Uh, we made this, we did three bottles of this, and me, another artist, my ex-wife, and a couple of other people came in, sat in the studio. The person who ran the, ran the actual studios came in as well. We didn't stand up very long. <laughs> in fact, people were sitting down drinking quite a lot of it and then couldn't stand up afterwards. It's just one of those kind of drinks. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the fruit is the best bit because you leave, you're supposed to leave it in. But when you finish drinking, you can eat the fruit salad and the fruit salad is really lovely. You can actually do a Pim's trifle, etc. All those kind of things, people make it up. Mm. But that is a Pim's. Long, cool, for a lovely, warm summer evening. I could see Wimbledon. You, you know, could? Sat in the terraces, drinking your drinky. Watching, or watching a test match, going to the cricket. Yeah. Lots of drinkies. Cricket would be good. I prefer cricket than Wimbledon. So there you go, that's a PIMS. Traditionally it's um, three parts, whatever mixer you want to use to one part, PIMS. I would nice. say maybe up the PIMS a little bit more to me, but that's just me, mm. okay? Uh, if you like a PIMS, please let us know. If you don't like a PIMS, let us know. If you try this one, let us know. 
please subscribe please hit the notification bell do all those things come and join me on big eye golf k and i on big eye world for more cocktails more recipes etc come to the facebook page big eye world and um show us what you're doing with your pims yeah you can also add grapes and apples in if you really want to grapes yeah would be good. grapes and apples as well with just whatever fruit you've got cool. really you can bung in yeah lovely good we'll get some borage yeah thanks very much cheers everybody cheers. see you soon